Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about turtles because as you know this semester we're going to be doing some turtle research. Now in order to do uh, proper research with any type of organism it's very important that you keep several things in mind. First of all when you're doing research the animal's welfare is of the utmost importance. It, you don't hurt the animals. Second of all we're going to make sure that we have the proper permitting we've got that and then third we need to make sure that we understand the animal and so I have for us today Tuck the turtle say hi Tuck All right. Tuck is a um, red ear slider you see right along right along here we've got the uh, red ear hence the red ear slider and he's a slider now, don't pay any attention to the way I'm handling Tuck right now because Tuck is a good friend of mine and Tuck would not hurt me. Uh, of course, we should always treat every animal with respect. But Tuck's used to being handled and this is probably not the way that we would handle a wild turtle because you want to stay away from this end. The pointy end, it hurts. Trust me. So let's first talk about the parts of Tuck. Tuck's shell is divided into two basic big things. First you've got the carapace which is this top shell right here and then you've got the plastron which is this area right here. This is Tuck's plastron. Now the carapace and the plastron are of course Tuck's head and Tuck's feet. See Tuck's feet? Yep. And the claws. They're webbed for swimming and uh, easy there Tuck. Tuck's tail is tucked. And I really hope that uh, Noggin is not watching so that they don't sue me for naming my turtle after a wonder pet. <clears throat> if any of you have young children, you know what I'm talking about. First, let's talk about the parts of the uh, carapace since we're looking at Tuck's carapace. These are divided into scoots. Lots of different scoots, and you can probably see the patterns right here. If you could get really close, you could actually count the rings and we could count to see how old Tuck is. But let's start with this particular scoot right here, this middle one at the top of the shell. I've heard this pronounced several different ways. It's either the knuckle or the new shell, N U C H A L scoot. Um, then we've got these, which you see have a raised vertebra. These are actually the vertebral scoots, one, two, three. Then we've got um, the shell right outside the vertebral are the costals. Easy there, Tuck Meister. Tuck one's down. These are the costals. One, two, three, four, five, six. But the ones that we are going to be most concerned with in our research are going to be the marginal scutes. And these are the marginals on, along the margin. And what we're going to do is uh, over here. We're going to end up alphabetizing these starting, probably help you if I turn Tuck around here. See to me this is backwards, but to you this is what you're supposed to see. Hold on there Tuck, you're not going to be a whole lot longer. This is going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q R S T U V W X. We don't have a Y and Z. And that's the way it's supposed to be. We only go up to X. And so uh, it's going to be used for marking the turtles later. Now, let's flip Tuck over here, shall we? Let's look at the plastron here. The very, f excuse me, the very first things right here are called the gullers followed by oh, Tuck doesn't particularly care for this so I'm going to just skip this the plastron is not really all that important we've got uh, gullers, humerals, pectorals, abdominals, femorals, anals and uh, these are bridges along the side here but that's what those are and uh, those are the parts of a turtle 
and later on we'll come back and talk about why it's important that we have the different parts and in the meantime tell them bye Tuck you're a star now you're on YouTube that's all I got for right now have a good day